There was a time in my life where the products in my bathroom and making sure I had a zero waste routine was the most important thing to me. And I wouldn't say it's the most important thing to me now. It doesn't probably even fall in the top 10 things that I do on a daily basis to try to be better to the planet. But it is still important to me to choose things like plastic free products, refillable products, to support small businesses, to avoid multinational conglomerates. Those sort of things still matter to me. And the ingredients and the brands that I support still matter so it's been a long time since I've done a bathroom essentials video since I lived in my other house and I've lived in this house now for two years so if you are looking to make your routines a little bit more sustainable or if you're just wondering what I still use versus what I have switched over the years this is gonna be a video for you and I'm gonna leave everything that I talk about linked below So I wanna just say that before we start, using up what you already have is the most sustainable thing to do. Then when you're ready to replace these things, cause everything we're gonna be talking about today are largely things that you would replace on a regular basis. So when you come to, you're done using up your other stuff, other stockpile things that you have, replace them with more eco-friendly alternatives. But using what you already have is the most sustainable option until you can't use it anymore. And another thing is, keep it simple. Like I really, really started to perfect my routines when I started doing a one in one out policy. If I hated something, I wouldn't make myself use it up. There's always people out there who are willing to take your things if you don't like them, but buying like multiple vitamin C products or multiple skincare products in general, because I can only use so many things on my skin in one night. I've seen plenty of shower routines of people who have like 16 different soaps in their bathroom because they all have slightly different smells, all those sort of things. I don't do that. And I think that's actually one of the most important parts of a sustainable bathroom, body care, any kind of routine, even if we're talking about our kitchens, is keeping a one in one out policy and just buying less crap. Because it's very normal, at least it is marketed that way on social media, to go and buy a ton of stuff um, just to stockpile your bathroom. And then it just gets kind of stressful to be in the shower. And that's the opposite, I feel like, of what we want out of our routines. I think question everything if you're trying to move into a sustainable routine. First is like, do I even need this thing that this person is trying to tell me I do, right? So without further ado, let's go into the bathroom. Okay, so this is our bathroom. It's not my favorite place, if I'm being so honest with you, because it doesn't have a window. I can't have plants in here, and it's just like, I don't know. My biggest dream is to put a skylight in someday, but those are not cheap, and it's just not the top of my priority list. But I say that because, well, we'll talk about it in a little bit, but we don't actually shower in this bathroom because it doesn't have a window, and it feels weird to me. I just can't get past it. It's just like showering in that dark, area feels like very, I don't know, not refreshing. Despite not using it to shower, and I'll show you the other bathroom where we do shower because it has a window, we still use it for everything else. So all my skincare, brushing our teeth, all that sort of stuff does happen in this bathroom. So a couple years ago, I had to have a tooth removed uh, because it got infected and my dentist recommended switching to an electric toothbrush. And at the time I was just using regular old bamboo toothbrushes. Um, I use Brush With Bamboo. If you want this, that's the brand I recommend. They're the most ethical, sustainable brand on the market that I would recommend. But when I switched to an electric toothbrush, I was like, well, I don't want to go back to using like plastic toothbrush heads, which Madison still uses this one. Not my business. We do share this part of the toothbrush. We just have one. But I use removable bamboo head toothbrushes. They literally function just like the bamboo toothbrushes did. It pops on here just like the other one does. And it works really well for me. And so I'm not throwing away plastic when I replace my brush heads, which if you do it the way you're supposed to, is kind of often. I really like this setup where we can share this part, but obviously not share brush heads. And I still have a bamboo toothbrush. Okay, I thought I was gonna be able to do this with my hair down, but turns out it is definitely still summer in Texas. Um, probably, arguably, one of the hottest weeks of the year for us right now, end of August, beginning of September. And um, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> the hair needs to go up. Okay, I think we're okay now. <laughs> this is like our, where we store things in our bathroom, obviously it's the vanity. Um, we each have a respective sink and under the sink, although we don't really keep stuff under there. But where we keep most of our stuff is in these drawers here. Um, and in this top drawer we keep deodorant, toothpaste, hairbrush, 
tongue thing. This is like a tongue scraper. I don't use this. Madison loves this. It grosses me out, but it lives here. These are our cute little couples deodorants. How cute is this? And shout out to Wild for being the deodorant that I switched to. I talked about the reason that I switched deodorants in this video, if you wanna go hear more about that. But I do really love Wild deodorant because they're not owned by a giant multinational conglomerate brand that lacks transparency. <clears throat> but also all of the obvious things, which is that they are plastic free, they are refillable, they are aluminum free, paraben free, cruelty free, all of the freeze that we love to see. Back in the day when, like I said, having a perfectly zero waste routine was the most important thing to me, I was so frustrated that I couldn't convince my partner to switch deodorants too. Um, and it took me a long time to find a deodorant that met all of those criteria that she also liked. So while we love that they have compostable refills, please hold, this is what they look like. And as much as I love that they're plastic free, compostable, refillable, wonderful ingredients, all those sort of things, the most important thing at the end of the day is that it works. <laughs> and that this is like very convenient. The way that they have come up with this packaging, the refillable packaging is very convenient and easy to switch from what I would call like a conventional deodorant over to this one, which I feel like just makes it more accessible and open to people. And my favorite bonus to give any brand is that they have a give back, which Wild does. And another bonus that I really like to give them is that it's very cute. So if you are in the market for a more planet friendly deodorant, I highly recommend this one. And you can use code SHELBY2024 to get 20% off of your first order. And I'll leave the link at the top of the description. That's one of the first things in this uh, top drawer is both of our deodorants and then refills that we have for them. And then let me tell you something about me. Whoa! Oh my God, please hold. If I like something, it won't exist for very long. Okay, I'm being dramatic, because that's not true with everything. As we're gonna see in this video, I have been using some of these things for years and years, but sometimes things that I like they just get discontinued. It's very frustrating. I'm actually thinking about making a whole video about why that is and why everything is the same these days, but I digress. The reason I'm saying that is because the toothpaste that I have liked over the years because my um, sensory issues don't really allow me to do the whole toothpaste tab thing. I honestly can't even think about it without um, wanting to throw up a little bit. So with that being said, I always am looking for a non-toothpaste tab version of toothpaste that is plastic free or comes in more eco-friendly packaging. And this is the one that I'm using right now. It's called Pogel. Honestly, the other part of that is, is that I want a, a toothpaste with better packaging that also has fluoride in it. This is one that does. And even the lid though, this is the coolest part about this one, is the lid is metal. The lid is not plastic. And this is a metal tube. So I have a key in there that I use. I'll snap it on the end of it to help me roll it down as I go. Because most toothpaste tubes are plastic aluminum laminates, which I do think there's a place um, in the world for plastic aluminum laminates. I just don't think that toothpaste has to be one of them because you can just make it like this and it works perfectly fine. And then like I said, we have the brush with bamboo, bamboo toothbrushes. And this is a very old hairbrush that I've had for a very long time. And I think like, not that I would be like, oh, this is the most eco-friendly option. You should go get this hairbrush. The point is more so that it's very old and I'm not going to throw this away to go get a plastic free version of it because this works just fine. And I've honestly been using this for probably almost 10 years now and it works just fine. It is eco tools, which is supposed to be like a more eco-friendly hairbrush, but uh, yeah, keep your old things if they work. Okay, that's it for the top drawer. The middle drawer is Madison's, okay? That's none of my business. It's neither here nor there. We're not going in there. The very bottom drawer is mine. <laughs> I remember in our old bathroom, I was so excited to have a drawer dedicated to my period care stuff because a lot of times what would happen is they would get washed and then not put um, in a specific place or it, they didn't have a dedicated place for them to be. So then when my time of the month would come, I would be scrambling looking for them and looking for things for whatever reason is like a huge trigger for me when it comes to like anxiety and panic attacks. And ever since I've had this set up here, um, that hasn't happened to me and I'm really grateful for it. So these are the reusable period underwear that I created with one of my best friends, Catherine, um, and the brand is called KNS, which is for Catherine and Shelby. I swear they are the most comfortable period underwear I have ever, ever used. But this is what I use instead of using disposable tampons or pads, which cuts out on a lot of waste. But I don't know if you've seen recently there was a huge study that came out of like i think like around 18 different uh feminine care products the majority of them were found to have toxic metals and chemicals in them i am not interested 
in uh, using any of those things that have been found in studies by, I believe this study was by a researcher at UC Berkeley and they didn't name the specific brands. So it's almost like you walk into the store and you're like looking at the aisle like, uh, who is it and isn't it? So using reusables has saved me a lot of money, a lot of waste, but also not having to worry about those concerns, which is why I really love them. And I'm actually thinking about doing a whole video essay on like period care and how it has evolved over like, <laughs> human existence. I absolutely love these underwear specifically. I like this blue color, but we do also have black and we have, this is like the high-waisted version and then these are the boy shorts, which I also really love to live in during that time of the month, okay? These are still samples that I had from when we were developing. So this one doesn't have the tag in it, but this one does. And I just think that's so cool. So if you haven't checked out KNS yet, check them out. I'm not gonna harp too long on them, but there is a discount code for $10 off in the description if you wanna see. I use a method when it comes to taking off my makeup that is called double cleansing. I don't know why I'm saying that, like it's a new thing, like you haven't heard of it. <laughs> um, but in case you haven't, basically it's where you take your makeup off with a balm or an oil. I usually use jojoba oil, please hold. This is what it looks like. Jojoba oil has been said to be like the closest to our natural uh, skin oil. So it's the one that I've been using for a long time just because I don't want it to clog my pores. But I use this to remove my makeup and then you wash your face in the shower with whatever cleanser you use and that's the double cleansing to really get your skin clean. But there are plenty of days where I don't wanna make a mess in my sink to wash my face off and I don't wanna get in the shower to do it either. I also use these for traveling. This, this is a proper makeup eraser. They released their own version that was like um, made with eco-friendly materials, but you can see that I use it. Even when I do double cleansing, I usually use it to get my eye makeup off because I don't like getting oil in my eyes. Um, but I freaking love these things. This one is also, um, this one's from Grove. They're also an eco-friendly company, but I really like these. The magic in them, I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but I know it's really good at removing my makeup. And instead of using single-use makeup wipes that are really wasteful and also get expensive, like you could buy this for the price of like one or two of those packs of single-use makeup wipes. And this is gonna be much better for your skin too. I feel like the things that they put in those makeup wipes are not great and it just works better. Like the experience using this versus a makeup wipe is just better. So I highly recommend these. Okay, if you know me, you know I call myself a little bit of a skincare junkie. I'm a little bit into skincare. It's not the most minimal part of my routine if I do so myself. I do still do my best to do a one in one out policy and anything I have in here that's aside from these things are largely from my buy nothing group. Like we trade things in there all the time around skincare and beauty to where I haven't bought a lot of things in my beauty routine in a long time other than these things, okay. This is a serum I've been using for years and I am looking to switch from using this because it's really expensive and my budget has changed in the last couple years. Every time I go to repurchase this, it hurts and I know it would hurt to also remove it from my routine, but it's just so expensive. Okay, the vitamin C that I'm using, again, because of my budget, this is a really great brand. They do a lot of um, like scientifically backed ingredients. They always are um, talking about the education behind it. And I just, I like them as a brand. Um, this is a Tretinoin I use, which really, I think I might make my skincare routine very minimal for like a few months and see what happens if I just use this and a moisturizer. Cause I actually think that's kind of all I need. I think this kind of does, everything for you. This is also just a metal tube, but it's supposed to have a key on it. And it lasts me forever, these little tretinoin tubes. So we'll leave it there for now, but it's supposed to have a key on it. Uh, this is just the moisturizer I use in the winter. This is um, the same thing as this one, but heavier. But I do find that I can use this in the winter, which I like to use it because it's good for my skin. Um, and it's just simply too freaking hot here in the summer to use this one. So I use this one. This is an aluminum uh, tube. This is also an aluminum tube. So the most recyclable material. Aluminum is notoriously good for when it comes to recycling. So I like those. And then, uh, this is one of my favorite face sunscreens. It's by Kula. They do really cool stuff with their ingredients and their supply chain. Um, and this just like works really well on my skin. It's fragrance free, which is why I like it. But like this stuff, the way I go through um, sunscreen, it's just too expensive to justify it. But it is what I'm using right now and it is a really good eco-friendly option. Okay, I also dermaplane my, not my whole face, 
mainly just this area, but um, this is kind of a newer thing to my routine. Leaf Razor, the people who created the safety razors, which we'll see in just a minute, the really user-friendly safety razors, I should say, they created this, which is just a single blade dermaplaner that is reusable, as opposed to a lot of the ones I've seen on like in videos and stuff, they're just plastic, just, they're basically like disposable razors. This is a reusable one so that I can do my face without having to create any waste, and they take back recycle these, so. We love to see that. And these are my do reusable under eye masks. This is also not something I can stand to do in the summer because I find that if I put these on my face in the summer, I'm just sweating and it's not cute. You can't beat the heat. Even with air conditioner, it's still hot, okay? So I do use these reusable eye masks, just not in the summer. It's not a, it's not a pleasant thing to do right now, okay? And Wild sent me this, which is a lip balm. It is refillable, compostable, just like their deodorants. And uh, it's what I've been using the last couple weeks. I like it. I think it's good. I love the concept of refillable body care. So that's kind of it. My skincare routine. A few sustainable call outs. But. And now we will go into where I shower because it's not right here. Well, we will after I have to show you one more thing and arguably the most important sustainable and wonderful part of my bathroom. And that thing is actually very hard to show you because this little toilet room is very small. But it's um, that thing right there. That's my bidet. And if you haven't heard me rave about a bidet before, there are very few things in my life that like I would say changed my life. I actually really hate when people are like, this thing will change your life. I think that is objectively untrue and only true about very few things. Um, the bidet is one of them, okay? That bidet right there will change your life. <laughs> the cleanliness you feel when you use a bidet is unmatched if you haven't used one before. And I will tell you that every single person who has come into my house and been resistant to trying the bidet but then gives it a shot has turned around and bought one for their home. And when I travel or I'm away from my bidet for more than a day, it is miserable to me. It's the one thing I miss and it's the thing that I feel like has genuinely improved my life. So I'll leave it at that and I'll leave a link below. Okay, now this is my bathroom that has a window, so we don't have to have ugly yellow lights. I do have a nice little setup in here, but this is not for me. Obviously, it's for our guests. Like, I have reusable hand towels for people to use, um, reusable makeup wipes, if anybody wants to use that. This is a soap that I was refilling at our local refill shop that won't be able to happen anymore because they closed down. And I do absolutely have who gives a crap toilet paper in here and in our other bathroom, which I kind of forgot to say because I got so caught up in talking about how amazing the bidet is, but it doesn't eliminate the use of all toilet paper in our household for us and especially not for guests. So I've been using who gives a crap toilet paper for like seven years at this point, I think. And I really, really love them because they have literally everything I look for in a sustainable business. They have sustainable materials. They use recycled paper to make this. They have carbon neutral shipping. They are B Corp certified. They give 50% of their profits to giving people access to um, toilets that otherwise wouldn't have it. And I don't need to brag about them too much. I do think I have a $10 off discount code for them too. But I love them and I've been using them for years. It also gets delivered straight to your door, which is wonderful because carrying home those like giant things of um, toilet paper wouldn't be possible now that I take my bike to the grocery store. And not only that, but it comes completely plastic free. So the plastic wrap around those toilet paper bundles, even though it's not like the end of the world, obviously, I just have always liked avoiding having to do that. Plus they're punny and cute. So we love that. All right, into the shower. It's a very minimal shower setup, that's for sure. Okay, so there are a total of five things behind me, some of which I share with my partner and some of which she doesn't even use and, and vice versa. And that's simply because, again, I started to question if I need all of the things that largely I was buying because it was being marketed to me. Like so much of, especially um, like people who are feminine, so much of the stuff that we use is literally just marketed to us as like you're gross and disgusting and you need to cover up and take away all the natural parts of your body. That's a little more radical side of me, but I do just think 
that like a lot of products are marketed to feminine people because we are constantly being told that our bodies are not good enough or that we need to make them better or that if we don't make them better we're just lazy and all the all the things that come along with that so keeping it minimal in the shower it just works for me i have been using this brand of shampoo again, again for years it's the only thing i've used on my hair for years because i i don't use conditioner so this one is their unscented version which i was so excited to see them release because i don't like scented things i just it, it irritates my respiratory system because I have removed so much fragrance from my routine that if I am ever introduced to it, like when I go to my friends and family's house who have those like plug-ins or candles or whatever it is, it's not good for me. So I really love this. And the reason I really love Plain have been using them for years is because they are a woman owned company, but they are also B Corp certified. Um, obviously they do refillable products, which is really good. They use great ingredients. Um, and I just like having something that works and not always looking for something better. I feel like I should have mentioned that in the beginning, but I feel like a lot of what is like the consumerism of body care is centered around something being incrementally better. And I actually like just really, I'm frustrated by that ideal and that normalization that you should always be on the lookout for something that can be like marginally better because this works really, really well. So why would I continuously be looking to see if I can find something that works a little bit better and just on this endless hunt for the perfect product that realistically doesn't exist. I've been using this and only this for years with the exception of the recent edition of Aramaze. Now let me tell you, when they approached me, I talked about this brand in a video a while ago, when they approached me, I just thought it was really cool that they had a certification that I always look out for, which is cradle to cradle certified. I took a whole class on that certification and the life cycle of products and like that in college. And so when I saw that they had that certification, I was just really excited to talk about them because of that. I used the product, I thought it worked good, but I didn't think it was something that I was going to want in my routine, but I love this. And the way that the instructions say is you're supposed to put this on your scalp when it's dry and then use another shampoo after. So I still use plain when I do use this and I only use this like maybe every other week, but I have a very dry scalp and this was designed specifically for anti-itchy and anti-dandruff. And I have found that it's so, so good for me. So I have kept this in my routine because before a few, like a couple months ago, this was all it looked like in here. And now we have added this to the rotation very recently. We use bar soap. I mean, there's not much else to say about it. I just think this is the most eco-friendly option because otherwise we are shipping water all over the world. And for what reason? There is not one. This works great. We both use this one. This is my face wash. Again, because as I've been saying throughout this video, I'm working on more budget friendly options compared to what I was using a couple years ago. I would just use whatever I liked and I was spending like kind of ridiculous amounts of money on my body and skincare. And I just feel like switching more to the more affordable things hasn't really changed how my skin or body looks and feels. So this is just a good molecules face wash bar. I think it's like literally five bucks. But the reason that I'm using that and I switched from this is because it's expensive. This is what I was using for a couple years and I do really love it. If I could find something exactly like this, but cheaper, I probably would switch back to it because the experience of using a gel cleanser versus a bar is just, it's not the same, but that's what's in my actual place where I shower. Okay, I think that's all of the things that I use in my bathroom routine and my body care routine and all those sort of things. If I forgot anything, let me know in the comments because I was just walking through my bathroom and seeing the things that I have. But if I forgot any area of something, feel free to ask me, but chances are I just cut it out of my routine because I found it to be unessential in my body care and those sort of things. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Huge thank you to Wild for sponsoring this video. I really like their deodorant, and if you're in the market for one, highly recommend checking it out. And remember, until next time, you cannot do all the good that the world needs, but the world needs all the good that you can do. Bye, guys.